YouTube, what is going on? My name's Azza and welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, we've got two races for you. The first one's on the Benesi Alps in A-Class. And as you can see here, boys, it's a catastrophe. So kicking things off, guys, we start in 14th position. Managed to get a nice drive off the start. Powered past 13th and powered past 12th. So we're in 12th position going into turn one. The Mitsubishi Evolution 6 decided to make things sideways. And I got two love taps from 12th position so we're up into 11th place now and the sheer power of this Aston Martin DBS managed to get me really close to the Evo but he cut me off and held his line very nicely don't know if you guys are aware or can see I've actually or noticed even should we say I've turned the driving line off for this track now as you can see why I shouldn't do things like this now before we get into that though yeah was that my fault now look at this then as you can see, he's now turning right into my sort of direction. My guy's not even attempted to turn. What do you think, guys? Me or him or 50-50? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving things on by a couple of seconds. So we go into, I think it's turn two or three, the long left-hander. One of the worst corners in the game. I hate it. I just always struggle with it. I really, really do. Uh, we're hot on 11th and 10th place. And as you can see, I sneak up the inside of 11th and the raw power of this Aston Martin DBS manages to power past that Subaru. We cut forward again, we're in 10th place, powered past the 360 Starlet. As I've mentioned guys, this is a monstrous A-Class car, it's super good, it's good around everywhere. Again, more clips of me just powering past people around the outside of the Subaru BRZ. He managed to do a nice thing, go straight up the inside, but let's be honest, the cutback 3000 is activated going to be a bit of a longer one because he did have the corner speed i think it's about six two handling car mine's five seven so he's got the corner and capabilities over me i managed to sneak up the inside of him here did this well i smashed this corner to be fair ran a tiny bit wide and the subaru again is just straight up the inside and yeah knew that was going to happen powered past that mercedes and now i'm hoping to try and get a good drive so i can at least catch up with sixth place there before this corner managed to do so super late on the brakes lovely lovely line into this long hander but my man's just ah, sorry mate it ain't happening it ain't happening face the wall and yeah unfortunately i was actually unable to save it so we cut forward on lap two of three a bit of deja vu here again with this 360 stadale round the outside and as you can see guys it's just it's got so much power this car has turn two hot on the mercedes tail i'm hoping to get a nice drive out of this so i can power past him yet again pull up into the inside and uh, make mincemeat of eighth place now we're in eighth place and uh, this is where i needed the line i was getting a bit heated the heat at the moment was like, yeah, you know what? I've got a nice little race on me here. I can pull some positions back. It just wasn't to be. Again, another sign of deja vu. Powered past and finished ninth. Bit of a bonus clip for you boys here now. Okay, so we're in the Forza GT series and I'm in the 93 Dodge Viper. And as you can see here, absolutely smash Eau Rouge. I didn't really want to let off because he'd have just left me, to, left me for dead. But my man just didn't want to turn. He just did not want to turn. He ran me into the ground. Uh, ran me into the the wall and I just couldn't get off basically and uh, yeah so I just thought I'd give him the benefit of the doubt but again I smashed Eau Rouge I've pulled up around the outside again here and he's just he's ran me on the grass for no apparent reason okay and I was thinking should I absolutely just blitz him into the wall but I was like no I'm halfway through the race I can do him I can do him I'm just gonna go straight up the inside lay it on the brakes my man's already turning managed to squeeze past and he's just gone get out of my way spun me out completely and ruined my race i finished second and i wasn't too far behind him but if you do see him guys just be careful because he does not like faster races so we get into race two from the back and as you can see here straight away managed to claw myself up into 12th place let's ignore that uh, nsx especially with me taking him out on the uh first sort of kink um so we managed to Get the power down nice and early coming out of that chicane there managed to get myself up into ninth place in roosters and there's another guy called the devastation i do believe his name is in this blue ford in front of me now the ford i'll know i'm i'll be able to make mincemeat of him no problem at all but the roosters in that old sort of muscle car kind of kind of vibe to it you know that they've got so much grip and obviously if they've got that v8 engine in which let's be honest all these older cars do 
you know, bar the alpha, etc. It's just so hard to catch them. But we cut forward, guys. We can see a bit of about you. There's three is three. <laughs> and as you can see, guys, that's an easy way to make two positions. Just stay out of things like that. Managed to get a really good drive out of that chicane, actually, around the outside of the Porsche came in and um, made contact with his front end. That was me trying to avoid the gravel and the grass, but I was going to snick up on the inside here. He closed the door very well, and unfortunately, I did make contact again with him. So I let him go, and I was going to go up the inside, but I thought, you know what, it's not fair. I'll, I'll leave it, but he just ran wide, and unfortunately for me, that's just an invitation to just do him up the inside. So um, that's the end of lap one. Obviously, lap two, we've done a couple of corners now, and obviously it's the tight left hand. It's almost a 180-degree corner, I do believe. My man there in the third place managed to run very wide, and I've just powered it, stuck it up the inside, got the grip out of the back end, and then managed to get the place. Now, we cut to lap three, and it's me against Elroy. And uh, this guy was quick, to be fair. Like, like I say, that car is just so damn quick and so grippy. It's it's hard to compete in these newer cars, you know, these 2000 and onward cars compared to these old muscle cars. So I do hope in Forza 8, they do nerf these kind of old cars because it shouldn't be possible for these little, like these bulky block skyscraper cars to outdo an Aston Martin or outdo other kind of like modern cars that have got more grip, more technology, better sort of chassis, better engines, better gearboxes and things like that. It shouldn't it shouldn't be possible, but it is. And uh, we come into this tight right-hander now, and uh, I'm just thinking, where, like, where can I overtake him? Where can I overtake this man? And uh, I was, if I had a faster car, well, I ran a bit wide there. If I had a faster car, I was going to do him on this chicane because I'm super good on this chicane, super late on the brakes. I know where the bumps are. So I can kind of handle the car and the oversteer. Far too far back. And my man's hit the curve. Tried to turn a bit too early. Scrape the wall. I've managed to power around the outside. And that is the race, guys. I finished second. Unfortunately, I reckon had I not get caught up with all that catastrophe and that issues at the start, I probably would have won or at least been up there with the top. So that's the video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more.